everybody. This is Noble, Nobles Club 92 uh, Hatchy, Hatchy Sut. I don't know. Um, Hattie. And uh, this is the DD save here. So. Now, oh, wait a minute. Ouch. Hatchet. Um, so, this is, uh, not a bad start, by the way. I saw this start, and I'm like, wow. This looks like fun. So, now, uh, Hachi is, um, <clears throat> spiritual and creative, and she's actually the better Egyptian if you're doing a war chariot rush. So, um, well, in most cases, I think. Um, spiritual and creative makes the early game pretty easy uh, uh creative in particular um spiritual gives you a lot more flexibility um in many cases it's a nice thing to have um starting texts are the best starting text in my opinion the wheel and agriculture great especially considering that at animal husbandry you get your unique unit which is a damn good one by the way um the war chariot is a five strength chariot that is immune to first strike, so that means it's pretty devastating to archers. Um, and it doesn't cost any more than the base uh, chariot, so it's kind of uh, kind of cheesy, really. It's a really good unit. You'd be amazed how late you can use it on deity. You can actually do a rush with these guys all the way up until the AI gets longbows on deity. Yes, I have done that. So it's not uh, regular chariots, uh, the four strength chariots. Um, you really kind of, your rush is pretty much over once the AI starts getting a lot of spears, basically. Um, in fact, actually, if, if the AI, you really, um, hard to say, I don't do many uh, regular four strength chariot rushes. Um, I, I used to do them a lot, but um yeah pretty much once the ai gets metal it's kind of over so you have to be really early um you know there there are some exceptions but the war cherry you can actually the ai can have metal for quite a while and you can just go you know just crush them i mean i've done it on deity so they're pretty amazing unit and uh the only thing i really don't like about egypt is the obelisk which seems kind of useless to me for most everything I could think of, except for, well, there's a few instances I could think of, which would be an exception, but uh, it essentially allows you to turn two citizens into a priest, <clears throat> and that's it. So what? I mean, you can just build a lot of temples for that if you really want priests. There are you know, ways to run priests. It's not a big deal. Um, and why would you want to run priests in the first place? But anyway, <clears throat> so, uh, let's see, the map type is, oh god, I think it's hemispheres or something like that, Con no, I think it's continents or little continents, something like that. So we're, we got islands here, um, normal speed, no huts, no events, everything else looks standard, and look at that, so we got three corn. Now I have, I'm playing this totally blind, I didn't even look at the thread, so I have no idea what's going on here. So this is totally, so it doesn't look like we got anything over here, because we got force in the way. Force, force, force. There might be something over there. Might have some kind of resource over there. Force here, so... Nope, there's nothing up there that I can see. There might be something right there. And the question is, do I want to move? Do I want to settle on one of those corn? Probably not. That's really kind of gambling. Although sometimes I like to gamble. Um, wasting a corn doesn't really make sense at this point. Especially when I don't know whether or not I have more food. Or whether, you know, I'm going to have to share a lot of food with the other cities here. Like one down here and one over here. So if I settle on one corn, that takes away one corn to do that. 
Uh, the only reason I might move is to get more river tiles. This looks like, as far as I can see, a slightly superior spot for, you know, cottaging. That's, that's the only thing I could think of here. And is that worth the wasted turn and the wasted hill is the question. One, two, three. I usually, I'm usually a cottager. Although in this particular case, we, I, I think we want to do a, um, a war chariot rush. So we're not going to cottage all, well, we might cottage a little in the early game, but uh, that's kind of an afterthought. I'm kind of considering that, though. Let's see here. I don't have many... At this one, one, two, three, four, and that's actually it, really. No, five, six. I have six. And I can't see over there. Yeah, six. If I move up here, I get one, two, three, four, five. Six, probably seven, eight, maybe, yeah, maybe a lot more. You know what? As far as I can see, since there's only forests, I'm only leaving some forests here. There might be something right there, but that wouldn't be in my big fat cross anyway. I think I am going to settle right there. Oh my god. That's a lot of corn, dude. Wow. What are you going to do with all that corn? You know what? I might just settle on the coast. I might just settle on the coast. Oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot to do something. Um, I'm going to do it after I move, though, so as not to cheat. I don't see anything. Yeah, I'm going to settle right there on the coast, because that's not a bad spot, and I don't need freaking four corn. I mean, come on. But get, get, grabbing that coast spot with two corn and a uh, nice river tile set, you can't get better than that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, come on, I have more river tiles than that, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, oh, seven. No, I don't. Yeah. Oh. Well, let's see. What do I have here? One, two, three. I was thinking the going the coast route for the ultimate thing, but. Well, I don't need to do that. This is fine. Let's just do that. Okay. And I have all the um all the requisite things on right now. I have my time I'm I have my grid back. Um I have my uh tile yield on and my resource thing on here. It's because when I turned them off, uh, some people complained, so um Well, you really, you know, with so many forests, it's really, you really can't go straight for animal husbandry. I wonder, hmm, problem is no free, no clear hills, so I can't put down any, any mines, if there's no excuse that I can see to go animal husbandry. But of course then there's always this because I have to do this anyway. <laughs> I have to do it so if I see horses... Uh, you know what? I heard... I thought I heard horses. 
freaking hear horses. Where are the horses? Um, let's see here. I'm giving the barbs their text here. But I hear a... You know what? I know that Nobles Club always puts the your strategic resource somewhere close. So I know there's got to be horses somewhere close. So we're going to go Animal Husbandry, even though really that isn't the ideal thing to do. But uh, the ideal thing to do would be to... Um, I'd, I'd have to go for bronze working because I have I have no production otherwise. I'd have to clear I have to clear off these hills, and um, I can't see. You know, normally if I didn't know I had horses somewhere close, I I, I couldn't I um I wouldn't go animal husbandry because there's no reason to. You know, you don't have like uh, cows anywhere or pigs anywhere. So this is this is because I I'm pretty sure that horses are somewhere close. I heard horses when I was zoomed up there, right there, and um, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're somewhere close. And I know that in for Nobles Club, they always put your strategic resource somewhere close. But uh, normally, I'd probably go straight to bronze working. This is not too bad, though, because I have the wheel. I can still lay down roads, which means my worker won't be doing um, absolutely nothing. Also, I do have a lot of these to farm now that I think about it. I have three of these to farm. That should keep me busy until whatever. No, I have four of these to farm if I want. And uh, I can pump out a lot of uh, pump out a lot of settlers too. So, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go reveal our horses. That way, oh man, we must be close to that guy. That way. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm liking this. We've got to be really close to Hannibal. Oh wow, he's up there. I'd even bet that's his first city. Oh god. Okay, it's first city right there, second city right there. Hannibal gets it, buddy. Boy, does he get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to totally wipe him out, too. So, uh, the only bad thing about attacking early is he usually doesn't give the AI time to really do anything. So you don't get much, usually. Now I could, because I know I have horses, I could actually just choke Hannibal until I get him. That actually wouldn't be a, oh wow, yeah. They're right up there. Oh god, that's beautiful. You beautiful bastard. Um. Uh, I don't even need another city. You beautiful little bastard. Wow, we got a lot of people on wherever I am here. Let's see if I can cause a little trouble here. Um. You know what? I'm almost considering going double worker. Uh, you know, if I can steal a worker, I don't need to go double worker, but... Hmm. Well, you know what? I know eventually there's going to be a worker over here. There's no place to camp out in Hannibal's territory if I choke him. You know, it's, it's, nah, it's better not to choke him. Better just to 
not not spook them at all here even with just archers non-protective archers um if he has walls and he just starts stacking troops in there just starts you know whipping a bunch of archers in there it's still hard to give them out even with war chariots so i'm not going to spook him any it looks like he has quite a quite a capital there look at that on the coast tons of flood plains which is not not too bad because he's on the coast see and he has like uh, tons of rivers going everywhere that's pretty neat so of course yeah i got four corn <clears throat> so i don't think we're gonna i think we're gonna mess with hannibal or maybe we will I could use another worker. You know what? I gotta kinda think about this. Yeah, you know what? I think I've decided I actually don't want to spook him. I don't need that extra worker that bad. And there's really no way for me to suppress him anyway. There's no if there was like a um, forested hill right here that I could camp on it'd be a little bit different but uh, it's just clear space and there's no way I can really uh, keep him pinned down for any length of time um, until I have horses of course um, so he only has two cities it doesn't look to me like he has any any copper anywhere this doesn't look to me like it probably has any copper. So, um, I might catch him without metal if I'm quick enough. Doesn't matter really with war chariots. You can roll over someone with metal. I'm going to switch my points to Wang Khan. He's a better techer in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to go see what's over here. Um, now this is a good, good, um, question here, because if I get a war chariot out, then I can suppress him. Do I really need to suppress him? I don't know, but, uh, you know, it's probably, probably better for him to just not be suppressed and go ahead and settle sites for me. So I'm going to go for, instead of going for, um, those horses and, trying to um, suppress Hannibal with a war chariot. I think I'll just go ahead and go down here, farm my second thingy. Oh, look at that. I thought there was somebody over here. Yeah. Not bad. Got Mr. Barbman, too. The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. Mm -hmm. yeah, I want to see what's down there. Um, let me go ahead and get another worker out here. Well, actually, you know, I might want to grow to another size first. Do I? The thing is, if you grow to another size, then you can work another tile, and that'll provide you with another commerce, which will get you a bronze working earlier. Or is it worth it to just go for a worker now? It only takes eight turns, which is actually, well, maybe quite a lot. It's hard to calculate. Duh. Yeah, let's go for a worker now. Get rid of this guy. Easy. Yeah, this is some nice land, and, well, considering the fact that I could take out Hannibal, there's plenty of it. And I have, I'm, I'm on a continent with, well, four guys, looks like. <clears throat> or either, the, either that or, well, 
the Dutch might be on another continent, I don't know. But I have access to four guys, which means I can control early game politics. So that's very good too. Um, yeah, the Dutch, the Koreans. Well, anyway, I, I got my points on the Koreans. It's probably still a pretty good bet. Okay, now the now the big question is: Should I farm another one, or should I go? I think we should go improve the pasture now. I think that's uh, probably pretty wise. There's even a spot right there. Pasteurize it. That'll be done in two. That's no big deal. But what is a big deal is I get some roads over there. sense in losing that guy. see here I want to put want to put a mine here and here so I, I gotta wait for that though I don't know if farming another one of these is really a good use of my time probably not although I'll probably have to do it anyway but uh, putting roads over these um, over these forests so I can get to them when I get bronze working that's probably makes more sense We're gonna go ahead and whip that barracks once we get to once we get the bronze working. <clears throat> then we're gonna chop everything out. Hopefully catching Hannibal totally by surprise. He's still only got two cities. Let me see if he says anything. Yeah, it says archers. So it's probably only archers right now. Yeah, that's about right. That's probably what you should be doing, I guess. Go up there and start chopping that. Yeah! <clears throat> it is entirely seemly for a young man killed in battle to lie mangled by the bronze spear. In his death, all things appear fair. Let me go ahead and chop these first. Probably not going to be actually working cottages over here for a little while. I wonder. Wonder if we should just go for. Go for the Oracle. I'm not sure if I can do a war and get the oracle at the same time is the thing. I'm, I'm thinking about it. First off, let's do that. <clears throat> you know, that might be a tall order. You know what? I've, I've decided at the very least I think I'm going to take a shot at it because I have marble right there. That looks like a good spot to settle at. I can grab the marble. 
it's um, usually, you know, it's either rush or, you know, develop. Um, you usually don't go for... In fact, you know, tell you the truth, I really don't need to early rush at all. I could just go for the Oracle, um, develop my land here, and forget about, you know, crushing Hannibal till a while. Like I said, you can wait a long time to actually rush with War Chariots. In fact, uh, we might kind of see wa see the way things go. Um, I, instead of rushing him, I might just choke him. So we'll see what we'll see what there is to see, and whether or not he has three cities and access to metal or not, and how many war chariots I can get out there um, to choke him. Because I might just go take a few workers from him, and that's it. While I get the oracle, then come back for the kill. I don't know. We'll think about it, but this is not a bad thing considering the fact that I have that right there. That, that, and that, so. Okay. I think that might be a better, better thing. Well, it's a, kind of an early Stonehenge now, isn't that? Who did that? Well, we don't know. Well, we know someone's got game, so to speak. So I'm going to go see if I can't steal a worker from him. He's been there. He's been everywhere. What's he say? Um, I'm, I'm thinking here. What, what am I should now? When you're this this point in the game, when you're trying to do this, you know what? I, I'd like to take Utica. That would probably require five chariots to do. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I was going to mine that, but I don't think so. Oh! Well, he has copper, technically, but not yet, huh? Oh, my God! An unescorted settler. He might, he might get the bright idea to... No, he can't settle on that. He might get the bright idea to settle near it, though. Even though War Chariots can pretty much slice through anything, it's still better not to have to face Spearmen. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do that so we get that next turn. Where that guy went. There we go. Not bad, huh? Nature herself has imprinted on the minds of all the idea of God. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it's not too quick. Aha! <laughs> well, I could steal a worker right here. No doubt about it. Um. <clears throat> That would actually be immensely helpful. Uh, however, there's there is the question now. You know what? I'm betting. I'm betting. If I le let him let him alone, he'll probably take two of those archers, leaving only one guy in Utica. Or he might. I might get to a point where he only has two archers in Utica. That means I could take it with. Actually, I could take it. Probably take it with three chariots if I'm lucky, but four would almost definitely do it. Oh, damn. so much for easy street. Yeah. Okay, well. Oh, he now has that metal. Okay, I think I got to do something at this point. Unless I want him to get out of control. So he hasn't improved that yet. That's fine. So we're still safe. Building a road. Why are you building a road there? Why would I put my points on Wang? going on here, right? There is something going on here. Willem has horses. Oh, what happened there? Is that on a hill? Yeah, it's on a hill. What a fool. It's not likely to get that. Okay. I know he's got to be doing something with that settler, and that probably means... These five chariots should probably be able to take Utica if he only has two guys in there. We'll see what the case is, though. Go ahead and do that. Get rid of that damn thing. I know I should uh, improve one of these or something. baby. Next turn, I think, is the time to strike. Definitely. This is it, bro. So this is what a good chariot rush looks like. 2200 BC. Okay. I only have five chariots I'm attacking with now, although I do have technically six. Um, but if you're if you're looking for what what a good one looks like, 
this would actually be pretty good even if I only had regular chariots, but I don't. I have war chariots. And uh, it's being this careful with war chariots is probably overkill, but, you know, overkill is never a bad thing in Civ 4 now, is it? Aha! Yeah, look at that. He's going to get a third guy in there. Fooey. It, it doesn't matter, though. Because I have six. I'm actually going to attack with six guys. So that should that should pretty much do it. Two two guys per per archer. There's definitely no way he can withstand that. Actually, I have a pretty good chance for victory there. What's he got in this? Oh my God, he's got a thingy. Oh, that's ugly. Oh my God. Oh <laughs> no. Oh, that's ugly. Why is my thingy Oh, that's right. Youch, I had this heater on under my uh under my desk here and it's actually burning my legs. I had to turn it off. All right. Um No. No, that's fine. Uh, I do want to get another city out over there, right there, though, so I can uh, build the oracle theoretically. Although it's tough to it's tough to build the oracle and rush someone at the same time. I tell you that, especially when you have to get another city out. Oh, you dickwad! He whipped a guy. Wondering whether whether to go for this place or whether to go for his capital. I do have good enough odds to take this place if I'm if I don't get bad luck. Cause we got thirty four percent chance for victory for each of these guys. I got six of them. You know, he's got... And, and the last guy doesn't have a fortify bonus. So it kind of depends on luck. On the other hand, he's only got two archers here. But the question is, how many archers is he going to have by the time I can strike at him? And if I wait another turn, will he whip another one there, making it even tougher? <clears throat> you know what? I think I'm going to go for Carthage. I think we are going to go for Carthage. That's too tempting. Because if I can get that although that's that's so but still. Well now that I think about it, what are my actual odds of doing that? 
Oh, wow. <laughs> Actually pretty good if you get lucky, huh? <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, mama. Um, hmm. Oh, that's an easy one. Well, who do I want? Well, why not? Oh, mama. I like it. Well, there you go. That was a good choice, I guess. Oh my god, look at that sick... What kind of map is this that gives such sick starts? Huh. Well, you know, the unhealthiness isn't bad, just plus two. It's not too bad. I'll take that. Thank you very much. And I'll smash that, too, while I'm at it. Um, I don't, actually, I don't know if I want to smash all these. I just smash the stupid ones like this. It's probably pretty stupid. That's not, not totally stupid, but I'm not going to work that for a long time. I'm going to smash all these, but, you know, I do need some money. Oh, I don't want him to... Oh, he could still counterattack me. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> he could still counterattack my guy. I didn't think about that. Oh, well. That's okay. If he does that, he'll have to take one archer off there. So, and he probably won't do that. We'll be able to take this place, and then we'll only have this place. And actually, this place should fall pretty easy. go ahead and chop there. Um, gee, good. Actually, that's probably not a bad idea. Although I think that would, that'll probably, that might come too late. Oh, wow, well, he made a really dumb move. Not their friends, that cities learn the lesson of Talk about a dumbass move, man. There, do we? I like how he cottaged everything for me. I don't even have pottery. Yeah, I'm not going to have plenty of games here. Let's just go straight to it. I'm, I'm already not too sure about my chances of actually getting the Oracle because I'm pretty late. Already pretty late here. It's going to be a shot in the dark, kind of dependent on whether or not anybody else goes for it. And if I'm lucky, maybe I can get away with it. Oh, look at that. He's trying to <laughs> he's trying to get away with his worker there. Uh, I can't head that off. Too bad. I Actually, I could have done something with that war chariot guy, huh? That other guy. Oh, well. Nah, we'll just sit right here. One, two. Da, 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 da. Next turn, I think we should be able to take this. is going for that. Whoa, that was an early Great Lighthouse. Yikes. You know what? I should be able to take this. OK, 
Okay. Little luck. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, well. Looks like really get unlucky. Which has been known to happen. There. Okay, so three cities by 2000 BC is not too bad. Considering I, especially considering I didn't make them myself, and they are both very nice. I don't have stone, do I? No, I don't have stone. Um, okay. So, well, we can make war chariots here now, once this comes online. Shouldn't be too hard to take the rest of them pretty soon. And I still want to get a city right here. So when I get to size 6 over here, I'm going to whip a guy, throw him down over here. <clears throat> what the hell? Oh my god! Oh my god! I've seen worse, but shit, that's lame. Well, that was real dumb. That's all I can say. Um, okay, so yeah. It's kind of fishing, I think, is probably a smart idea since I got that over here. Fishing, pottery, riding, I guess, is my way we're going here. What the hell? I can't believe it's doing that. I don't believe that. Why would you do that? I cannot believe it was doing that. Look at that. Look at that. It deliberately works an unimproved tile. What is it thinking? So this is why you got to keep a slight eye on what the um, the auto thingy is doing here in your cities in the early game, especially when it counts. Because if you don't watch it, stupid stuff like this can happen. And I want to grow because I'll whip at size 6. Um, yeah, jeez. Talk about stupid. Okay. Oh, you had to be on a hill, didn't you? off the last of them over here. We got one. Just two. And it doesn't even have a border pop yet. Although he will pretty soon. I won't be able to stop that. Yeah, we'll just load up right there and get my fourth city and fifth city and I can get a pretty much, pretty few pretty quite a few. Yeah, quite a few cities out of this, no question. Not really even trying. Yeah, there's no reason to do that. That's crazy. It's goofy talk. Oh, come on. But we're going to need... What's our chances here? Uh, we're 
going to need a little luck. No, he's going to get 20%. We're going to need a... Uh, yeah. Going to need a few guys for this. Probably six, unfortunately. Whip a settler into that war chariot. Let's see here, go right here. I think. What are we doing here? That's not too bad, but oh, eh. not even working anything there. You know what? I think I might. This is this looks better than my home spot. I think. Let's see here. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it's not. Ah, it's not. But it's cute though. Definitely a nice spot. So, let's see here. Well, we could go up there, road into solid, and I'm not sure what we need to do right now, though. Actually, we probably need to do a little bit more chopping, or, well, you know what? I want to save these for us, probably, for something like the Great Library. And, yeah, so let's not chop too much over there. We can whip some war chariots and crazy stuff like that. Um, oh yeah, and I have copper. Yeah, I think when these places... Yeah, that's probably... Well, we might as well... I guess we might as well farm this last one. We can get settlers out of here. Oh no, this is going to have a border pop pretty quick. Yeah, let's go up here. Okay, yeah, let's not do that yet. Give a man a fish, and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, and you feed him for a lifetime. I love the border pop. See, I, I normally have to whip like a monument in this place or something, or well, actually no, but I, I'd have to wait like ten turns. I only have to wait five turns, or actually less than that because I've got religion in here. Okay, one more turn at least. Pottery, writing, profit. And I'm going, um, we're going uh, uh, aesthetics route this time, definitely. Because of that marble and good times. And yeah, I think that's pretty much how you got to do it. And I, this should be a cakewalk, man. I have horses. Okay. I'm just still not sure what to do with these workers right now. I guess we should go up here. I, I need at least one to keep one around here. I'm, oh, yeah, that's right. I can't do that yet. Yeah, I'm going to go farm the last of that. 
these guys are going to take up here. And because it's it's so early, I can still do another War Chariot Rush. Oh, I should have done that. Da, da, da. Why didn't I do that? Oh, okay. No turn wasted. No big deal. Just as long as he doesn't get four archers, I should be just fine. <clears throat> Boom. I think this is it. I think this is it, and we're going to get a... No, we got a level 3 guy. We don't need to worry about that. Okay. Is that the best you got? Well, we survived one. Yeah! <laughs> Son of a gun! Cha 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 cha! No problemo! Um. Now it's probably a good idea to get open borders and yeah, you cannot forgive your cruel treatment. Well, get over it, buddy. <clears throat> uh, well, we got lots to do now that we got uh, four cities already, soon to be five. The nice thing is, even though I'm right up on uh, Saladin's territory. I don't have to worry about his cultural pressure too much because I got uh, I got creative, so that was nice. Oh, now I'm freezing. I turned my heater off. Now I'm freezing. I don't have anything to build yet, really, except for workers. Hath not the potter power over the clay to make one vessel unto honor? Go straight to writing. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. No, that's for that guy. I think I might farm this right here. Farm that. Oh wait, what am I doing? Need to road into what's his face, Sally. Don't want to piss old Sally off either. <clears throat> I'm gonna go see about this place. It looks like there's something over here I might want, like that gold mine. I wouldn't want Sally to get it. Um, yeah, let's get another war chariot out. Like I said, I want to go take this place. Granary, maybe. At least we got a granary. We can make a granary here. That makes sense. And, um, with enough cottages and riding, then we can expand like the plague. Like 
go hunt that guy down there. Oh, thanks a lot, Saladin. You're a great guy. You are, really. I'll immediately convert into his religion. Why did Hannibal have to found a religion? That's... Everything's founded, right? Yeah, everything's founded. Damn it. Means the whole freaking continent's going to be in Hinduism. Hannibal wasn't going to spread any religion, so there's nothing I could have done, really. I couldn't have, you know, not going after him wouldn't have helped me. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, let's go road into him. This is probably... 